Imagine, what if we can have an artificial sun here on Earth that can reach a temperature of 6 or 7 times hotter than the real one? Hi, good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here and welcome back to my channel. You know, scientists around the world have been trying many times to recreate an artificial sun here on Earth that would bring us a step closer into a new era where we can have an unlimited source of energy. Fortunately, this kind of technology has already begun and in this video, you will see three countries in the world that have already recreated the intense power of the sun here on Earth. So, without further delay, let's get started with my number one. Number one is the Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, or known as EAST, from China. Chinese experts announced that their Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, or known as EAST reactor in Hefei, has already achieved a temperature that is six times hotter than the sun. This sets a new record in fusion technology. Now, for you to understand this, let's put it this way. When we talk about how the real sun produces a very strong energy, its hydrogen atoms need to fuse into helium and eventually into heavier elements. The fusion process releases large amounts of energy. So, to copy this process, we need to have a technology that can harvest large amounts of energy that is released as a result of atom fusion. But first, you need to fuse these atoms together for them to release energy. However, that's the hardest part and not an easy task. Imagine, in order to fuse these atoms together, you need to do something to force them together. You could just think of like smashing, slamming, or squeezing them hard together with all you can for the fusion to take place. But China has successfully done this and hopefully, this artificial sun will be ready this year. Number 2 is the artificial sun known as K-star from South Korea. Now, nuclear scientists in South Korea have conducted a revolutionary experiment creating an artificial sun taking a huge step towards potentially developing clean nuclear energy. South Korea's experimental fusion reactor known as K-star, also called an artificial sun, has set a world record by maintaining a temperature of over 100 million degrees Celsius. If earlier I mentioned that China's artificial sun reached a temperature six times hotter than the actual sun, this time it's even hotter than that. The artificial sun that has been developed in South Korea is actually in a new level. Imagine, in just 1.5 seconds, this kind of fusion reactor reached a temperature seven times hotter than the real sun. This is really a new record. The K-STAR is a kind of magnetic fusion reactor at the National Fusion Research Institute capable of sustaining a plasma ion temperature of more than 100 million degrees Celsius. This is the first time that it happened in the world of fusion technology.
Number three is the German's artificial sun. Using 149 lamps, German expert has replicated the light and heat of the sun. This is known as the Sinlight, and this is considered to be the world's largest artificial sun. Now, here is what it can do. By focusing the entire array of lamps on a single 20 by 20 centimeter spot of, let's say, aluminum metal, this scientist from German will be able to produce the equivalent of 10,000 times the amount of solar radiation that would normally shine on the same surface. So, take a look at how it works. Researchers here are trying to replicate the light and heat of the sun using 149 lamps as big as cinema projectors. It's the pride of Professor Bernhard Hofschmidt he showed me how it all works. In principle, one of the lamp is already what we call a solar furnace. We can concentrate. The, the only thing we do, we put more on the side to bring all the folk key together. And when that's done, this is what can happen in a very short period of time. To give you an idea of exactly how much heat these lights can produce, this 20 millimeter thick piece of aluminium was exposed to the light of just 30 lamps for just a few minutes and as you can see it burned right through now before we end this topic let's review china has an artificial sun that can reach a temperature six times hotter than the real sun while south korean artificial sun can reach a temperature of seven times hotter than the sun we also have German artificial sun, though the German expert behind it did not say anything about it in comparison to the real sun, he showed how good his invention in melting the aluminum metal. So what about you? Which of these three artificial suns do you like the most? Is it from China, South Korea, or from Germany? Anyway, we can expect that in the future, not only will we have solar panels, wind, hydroelectric, biomass and geothermal energy as our sources of clean energy. But there is also a big possibility that we will have artificial sun here on Earth that will become a good source of energy. So that's all for now. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you next time.